Zips Football with Terry Bowden, presented by Wentz Financial Group, is brought to you by Suma Health. It's your health. Let's own it together. Bud Light, the world's famous light beer. Double Tree by Hilton Akron Fairlawn, proud to be the host hotel of Zips Football. By your Akron Canton Bryant Heating and Cooling Dealers. The Spaghetti Warehouse, famous for its 15-layer lasagna. And Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to another week of Zips Football with head coach Terry Bowden, brought to you as always by the Wentz Financial Group. Well, the news is good today. How about the Zips? They bounce back from that Toledo game, get a big win over uh, Buffalo, 21 to 20. Coach, always fun to talk about a win, isn't it? It, it really is. And you, and you said it. We came, we bounced back from that Toledo game. A tough loss in us on the road. We came back at home. We played well at home. Yeah. We came back with a home victory, and we got some revenge on this game against Buffalo. Last year, they whipped us pretty good up there. Same kind of day, rainy, cold. We got after them. We played four quarters and won it at the end. That wasn't the only impressive thing, Coach. Yeah. A lot of times they talk about the separation between the major football powers and mid-major is depth. You showed great depth on Saturday. You brought Gladney and Sands off the bench, and they were big contributors. I tell you, that's when it becomes special. When guys get ready, they sit on the bench, and they get ready, yeah. and they step up. When their number gets called, they step up, and you always love to see that. A guy like Deltron Sands, yeah. 70 yards rushing in on 10 carries, right. grabbing on 7 carries. Uh, Kevin Gladney, Firestone High School local, has not had as many opportunities this year. He gets the chance to really make a big play, makes the game-saving play you'll see here when we get to our highlights. Yeah, both those guys were kind. I'm not going to say they're buried in the depth chart, but they were down number 3 and 4, but they came on and played well. Yeah, they, everybody's got their position, right. you know, and they have to wait their time. And the key is when they call your number, you can you ready. make something happen? Exactly. Well, the Zips win it 21-20 uh, right now. Let's go back to InfoCision Stadium on Saturday afternoon. The Zips taking on the Buffalo Bulls. It was a big one, and the Zips got it. A little bit of sprinkle the entire day. We come out first. We get a good first down completion. But we don't do much with it there and have to punt. I cannot stand it. Boy, I want to get some ball movement, some field position. If we don't score, get field position. But we had a great punt. Nick Gasser's done a great job punting uh, all year. He's just been a huge asset to our football team. But they get the drive going. You know, it was going to be one of those bend but don't break days for our defense. But, man, they find a way to make plays at the end. Nice stop. You see the defense getting back up. Holes them. We get back on the ball. Nice deep ball here to A.J. Coney. Look at that throw right there. Uh, boy, I tell you, Tommy Woodson was on Saturday on fire. He was 21 of 29 for 72%. Hits third, big third down there. Nice play for Chapman. You know, on third downs, we were 7 out of 12. He was also great. That's a huge day. And there's the field goal. We, boy, we got to get these field goals. We've missed three out of our last four field goals. And that just, that's, when you miss one like that, boy, you love to get it back. They come back down the field, make a nice play. That's targeting. Boy, and you don't want it to happen. He doesn't want it to happen. The receiver catches it going down to yeah. the ground. You try to hit him low, and you end up hitting him in the helmet. That leads to a penalty, which leads to a score. And we're down 7 nothing. Nice play, Travon Chapman. If the ball's going to be caught over the middle, you know it's probably going to be Travon. Nice pitch out there to the outside. Make four or five yards to the outside. Manny Morgan making a few yards there. Trying to get a little bit more. There comes a slant inside. Franchon Bickley out of St. Vincent, St. Mary. Nice catch there for the first down. Makes a nice catch. Tommy Chapman, watch this third down throw. Right on the sideline, A.J. Coney. Just beautifully thrown ball. Critical play right there. Got us down close. Now we fake there. Fake the sweep. Throw downfield. Watch this perfectly thrown catch. Throw to catch to Franchon Bickley. Caught two catches, all of them big. That one for a touchdown, 23 yards. Nice day for that senior right there. Nice football day. Defense is coming on strong. Great job right there. Looks like a, looks like a great job by uh, Camaro making the tackle. Brian Bell making a big hit right there in the quarter. It's 7-7. Seven to seven. They come back. Oh, most intercepted right there. Great job right there. Sean Featherstone almost made it. They come back. We hold them to a field goal. They boot it through to go up 10 to 7 right there in the second quarter. Now we're back. Now they're coming down. Here's the big play. They stole. Oh, hold them right there. They got back down again. And now you start thinking about 17 to 7. But here's the quarterback trying to scramble a little bit. Tries to make a big play. Look at that. Great job. Jordan Jordan making the interception. That could have put it 17 oh, yeah. to 7. But now watch the turnaround. That we get the ball back. And now we drive the ball from our own three up on 20 yard line. Quarterback's trying to find somebody. You'll see he finds Trevon Chapman here on the sideline. Watch that first. That's third down. They give him the first. That's awful close. I'm glad they laid it on the line because they gave us a first down. We come right back. He finds Trevon Chapman again when the, his initial receiver was not open. 
Trevon makes that catch. There's the fake run. There's a nice throw out to Coney. When they, when they play the run, he tries to throw that hitch out to Coney, who picks up about six or seven yards there. Here we come back. I think he's going to find Austin Wolf down the sideline. Gosh, just another perfect throw. Perfect throw, perfect catch. You see the rain right there. It didn't seem to hurt the throwing that much. No. They threw 50 <laughs> times on the day. And uh, we're now we're up 14 to 10. There's a nice tackle by Sean Featherstone again. Did a good job on that tackle. Coming back, you'll see Brian Bell coming there with a big hit right there. Good job there on the tackle by Brian. Trying to put some pressure on that quarterback. Now we get him to, I think that's a sack. I don't know if you call falling down a sack. We'll call it a sack. We'll call it a sack. He ran, <laughs> we ran after him real hard. But they hold them to a field goal. And there it is, 14 to 13, halftime. Kind of looks like Western Michigan, rainy day, 14 to 13. But this one's got some more scoring in I the second half. I talked to you at uh, halftime, Coach, and you said it was going to be critical in that uh, second half to come out and play well. Because Buffalo, even though you look at their record, they're a pretty good football they're, they team. They really are. They've lost to Northern Illinois, 14 to 13. Yeah. They lost to uh, Western Michigan in, in seven overtimes. Yeah. And they beat some really good teams. They they just been one of those tough teams that, that played really good right. and lost. But we knew we were going to have a tough battle on our hands in the second half. Exactly. Hey, we're going to take a break right now. The Zip's up 14 to 13. We're coming back. Special feature on the Zips. Can't wait to see that right after this. The difference with Once Financial Group is that we do not have a cookie cutter answer to any of our clients' needs. Every day is completely different in the market, and every client situation is unique. We value the opportunity and responsibility to manage the hopes and dreams of our 3,000 customers nationwide. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. I imagine everyone to be my mother, my father. Truly give of yourself, to give of your heart. I just treat them like I would want to be treated. To feel like they're a welcome guest of ours. Being genuine. Uh, by showing compassion for others. By going above and beyond. You're not just there as a provider, but there to help them on a personal level. With every patient, every day, Suma Health delivers personal, life-changing care. Okay, welcome back to University of Akron football. Head coach Terry Bowden. Coach, as you've said many times, there's a number of ways to build a football team. Recruiting and transfers. You've got a good one out of Darian Daly. Yeah, we sure do. We don't do as much transfer recruiting nowadays, but yeah. Darian Daly out of Florida. We knew about him out of Sarasota, Florida. Uh, great speed. He's a cornerback yeah. who plays that key position. And he's run under a 4 4 40. So he had great speed. We had some contacts and knew some people that knew people kind of deal. Yeah. And when he wanted to come, we were glad to pick him up because he's got this year and another year of eligibility left. Uh, and he's making a big uh, he's making a big impression on our team right now as a starting cornerback. One of the fastest zips. Let's meet Darian Daly. Was familiar with him being that I recruit in the South Florida area. Uh, figured he'd go probably go to a power five school because of the skill set he possessed. Um, so when I saw the opportunity, you know, once they let him go, then we kind of reached out that way. I previously was at Rutgers, and uh, I had a learning experience, and I had to sit out a year, so I stayed home. And during that time, I just, my head coach got fired, Kyle Flood, and things wasn't looking so good to go back to Rutgers. So I just started looking around and, you know, just hitting up old coaches that may have, you know, recruited me when I was in high school. And, I just somehow, you know, got in contact with Trent Boykin and, you know, we, we discussed some things and I'm here now. The talent, he's very athletic, um, possesses great speed, um, got good ball skills, uh, great twitch, um, just an overall athlete, athlete. It means a lot, but honestly, it's just, you got to do your job. If I just don't depend on me being a starter and that's just it. I got to, if I'm not doing well as a starter, pull me out. You know what I mean? I just got to continue to help this team in the right way. I think, you know, he's still developing, you know, because obviously, you know, right out of high school, he was there one year. And I don't think he really played that first year. And then he sat out a year. So he's actually been out of football a while. So he's, he's just scratching the surface, I think, on how, how good he could be. It meant everything, honestly. I just, everything I worked for in the offseason, being home for a whole year, it was just there. I just got to continue to have that mindset of being the MVP and, and think about all the things that got me here to this point. Stay healthy uh, and just make more plays happen, honestly. 
<laughs> Darian Daly, uh, that's just one of a great group of secondary I think you have on your team this really, year. I'm really pleased with our secondary. Our corners have done a great job. Kyron Brown has a great football yeah. game. Uh, Denzel, uh, uh, Denzel Butler. Butler, Denzel yep. Butler did a great job for us too. And uh, even Jordan George switched over right. to, uh, from safety to cornerback. So they've done a real good job. I've been awful pleased with them. The Zips are up 14 to 13. We're going to go back to InfoCision Stadium, watch the second half as the Zips get a big win over Buffalo. At the Wentz Financial Group, listening to clients, understanding their needs, evaluating their risk tolerance, and finding solutions to help them meet their goals is our ultimate responsibility. Because at the end of the day, we treat every client like their family and manage every dollar like it's ours. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. Our strength is our legacy. Boundless innovation, fueled by our tradition. At the University of Akron, our path forward is here and now. Every day, we push ourselves to do what others won't. Akron raises champions. Akron nurtures genius. Because just when you think we're finished, we're just getting started. That's what makes us the University of Akron. Well, we were at halftime of Saturday's game against Buffalo. The Zips up 14 to 13, and Coach, it's going to come down to the final five minutes. That third quarter was kind of back and forth, a lot of defense. Yeah, really, because we went, we went three and out twice. They right. got the ball, had a long drive, but then had to punt, but took a bunch of time off the clock. We're three and out. Then they had a long drive and then didn't make it. And then finally, they had a long drive, and they ended up having the ball 12 minutes in the third quarter. They didn't score until the fourth quarter. But that was a game where our defense bent but not right. break. Offensively, we, we just were not happy hitting it. We had a great first half as far as hitting the plays, but we couldn't get it going in the third quarter, but thank goodness there's one more quarter after that third. There you go. The Zips are going to win this thing, and let's go back and watch the second half as Akron knocks off Buffalo to go 4-1 and one in the Mid-American Conference. They get the ball in the first drive. Defense comes on strong. They've had a good drive going. They, they're running a lot of clock, but they've got the good drive going. There's the flare. Nice job there. Brian Bell's made some big plays, several behind the line of scrimmage to put them for a loss of yardage right there. Puts them a little bit behind the chains. Then they make the throw. You see on third down, that's going to come up short. Gives them a fourth down. I believe they went for it right here, didn't they? No, no, this is the next series because we yeah. held them on that one. This is the next series. We were three and out. They got the next series. You can see where they are on the field. They've moved the ball down the field. There's a nice play. Pushed him into the backfield. Good team effort there to keep him for a third, fourth down play. That's where they went for it on third down, I believe. And they move the sticks down at the end of the third quarter, but this drive will continue into the fourth quarter. And as you see us heading the different direction, there's the one that popped. They popped off tackle for it. Touchdown, they're up 20 to 14. And now we've got to come back and make something happen. There's a nice catch, A.J. Coney over the middle. And uh, gets the ball moving down from the, after they scored, we came right back. There come back, looks like we're gonna have a chance. There's Deltron Sands, who had a great second half, 70 yards on seven carries, made a great second half. There's a sh critical short yardage play. We put the Wildcat in, let Manny Morgan run it, and he got us the first down. Here's probably the mistake, the only mistake we made, throwing that into coverage right there. Not usually one that uh, Tommy Woodson does, but he made a mistake throwing that deep ball into coverage. So that really made you nervous, because we took a lot of clock off and didn't get that score, and we've got to come back. Tip ball right there. Tip ball right there. Defense came through. Now here's big one of the big plays of the game. He gets hit twice. Spins, keeps his feet, gets us off the off the goal line, out to midfield. Obviously that's Deltron Sands. He's a, he's a sophomore out of St. Thomas Aquinas in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Tommy Woodson comes up with a huge throw over there to Austin Wolf. Had four of his catches. I'm sorry, two of his catches right there. There's the throw. Nice shot out there. Hits AJ Coney out there on the outside. And now here's the play. Look at this. Kevin Gladdy going down the sideline. What a catch right there. There's pass interference. He caught it anyway. Touchdown. That's the play of the game right there. Unbelievable job he did catching that football. Firestone High School. He's, he's backed up a lot. Hadn't had the opportunities he would like to have. But when he called his number, he came through. And there's the 21 to 20. Now we've got ourselves a one-point lead, but all they need is a field goal. That's not over yet? No, they've kicked two field goals already, and they've been able to sustain drives. But the defense comes up. There's great game tackling right there. There's John Laco on the tackle right there. Keeps him under the chains. They come back. They've got to go for first down. There's third down. We hold them right there to a fourth down. I believe they go for it right here. On fourth down, 
No, no, that's the one. That's, is that the fourth down that's they make? Fourth. Yeah, they, All right, here they, they got the drive going. We've got to call them out. There's a pass right there. They don't get that. We hold them right there. Here's the field goal. They have to attempt to win the game right here. They try. He's right there. A minute and 52 seconds left, and he misses. He's made two. He misses that one. Now we get the ball on the 20 with 50 with a minute, a minute and a half left. They got all their timeouts. We've got to run for first downs. Deltron Sands did it. There's a first one. He gets a first down. He stays inbound, keeps the clock running. Nice run up the middle right there. Keeps the ball running. Keeps that clock running because all they want to do is stop us to get one shot, chance at that field goal. Look at that great job right there. Gets out there, makes another first down. They have no chance. There's victory, my favorite formation. <laughs> As we cut, run the clock out and win the game. Just a, It was a great finish. It we was. were able to come up defensively and hold them and hold them, and then offensively to run that clock out. And just so many guys stepped up and made plays. And so it's, just a, it's a great win for us to have a, a, in a ball game like that. It's almost a deja vu in that uh, fourth quarter. Three or four times this year, you've needed one first down right. to put the game away. You right. got it on Saturday. Saturday. You know, Troy, we're in the same boat. Troy, if we could have got right. it against Troy, we could have. Exactly. We could have put the game away. But that's what you've got to do. You've got to be able to run the football. And, you know, in the first half, we couldn't run the ball very well at all. We didn't have any yards rushing. We had 80 yards in the second half, most of that in that last drive, that we had to have it to get the first down. So those, our offensive line, a lot of credit how hard they played in those last few minutes. That was a big win for the Zips. Keeps them on top of the uh, Mid-American Conference East at 4-1. and one. Right now it's time for whatever it takes moment of the game brought to you each week by Brian Heating and Cooling. Coach, this play is so good we're going to watch it twice. But Kevin Gladney out of Firestone, as you said, with the big catch. Big senior. We have, we've played some other guys a lot. He's kid waiting his turn. What a great catch right there. Pass interference on the defense. He still makes the catch. That puts us up 21-20 to 20 after we kick the extra point. Just a, a fantastic job from Kevin and, and what he's done for us. We're going to come back and watch it again because whose stock is rising? It's got to be Kevin Gladney out of Firestone High School, Coach. And I think he'll, uh, with that confident catch, he may come back and play well for you the rest of the year. Oh, yeah, he's made big plays for us. He's caught the ball several times this year. Just a great play. It's, it's worth seeing twice uh, and how big that was. You can't believe how excited our team was for him to make that big play, right? One of our local players that has played so well for us. You know, Franchon Bickley caught a touchdown. Uh, he caught it to Gladney, caught a touchdown. Nice job from our local players. Congratulations to Kevin Gladney. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll announce our Players of the Week against Buffalo. That comes right after this. Sir Jeremy, you are a true friend of the crown. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. dilly. Madam Susan, you are an even truer friend of the crown. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. What is that? This is a spiced honey mead wine that I have really been into lately. Please follow Sir Brad. He's going to give you a private tour of the pit of misery. I'm sorry, what? Pit of misery. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Here's to the friends you can always count on. It takes attention to detail. With your local Bryant dealer, you're getting more than just a technician. You're getting someone who pays attention to your needs and the little things that make a big difference. It takes a dealer you can rely on. And to keep your family warm this winter, here, let me show you how this works. It takes Bryant. Bryant, whatever it takes. It takes RJ Mechanical to keep your home comfortable this winter. Find us at rjmechanical.net. Well, it's always fun to talk about the players of the game, especially after a big win and coach offensively. You talked about uh, Thomas Woodson. Great first half and kind of got down a little bit in the third quarter, then finished strong. Just missed a couple of passes yeah. uh, in the third quarter, but yeah. man, 21 of 29, uh, almost 300 yards, just under 300 yards, three touchdown passes. He was 7 of 12 on third downs, 54% on third downs, 71% for the day. All of his deep balls were perfect throws. Yeah. There's Austin Wolf catching his, his second of three touchdown passes that he threw. All of them deep balls that had to be thrown perfectly to be completed. Here's him just scrambling, trying to find something. Watch this critical. This is where we were a little bit worried because he got his shoulder banged up right there. And that's where he was yeah. kind of tight for a little bit for a couple of throws. But he came back, overcame it, and finished strong with a big touchdown pass in the fourth quarter. Of course, you've been coaching a long time. How much is confidence in a quarterback? He gets down a little bit during the game, fights back. That's, uh, well, you got to fight impressive. back. I, well, yeah. You know, he's a fifth-year senior, and, yeah. and he, he's been through time. So, when you, I think it was more just a little bit of soreness in the yeah. shoulder where he missed a couple of passes and he just got to, had to overcome it. He started, he worked his way through it. And then a guy like that has to come through for you because that's, who, that's who's going to be touching the ball exactly. every time. And so, he did a great job, and I was awful proud of the uh, performance that he had for the day. Talked about the defense at halftime on Saturday. They uh, – 
kind of bent a little bit, never really broken. Jordan George, one of those secondary guys, played well. He's yeah, our Jordan, defensive player of the week. Yeah, Jordan had 11 tackles, but he had 11 tackles. He was all over the field. When we lost Alvin Davis, we had to play. That's one of our defensive backs, and we have to play a safety at corner and a corner at safety, and he played the entire game and came through. There's a big play right here on the running plays right there. Uh, but one of his biggest plays was in the end zone right here. Now, they, they go up 17-7 to seven here. It's hard to come back from 17-7. to seven. It changed the way you think. They're just trying to make something happen. They're just trying to get a touchdown. One-handed catch. You talk about saving the day because after he made that interception, we came back, drove down the That's field, right. and scored. That was huge. It was a huge turnaround in this football game. So, great job from Jordan George. You've talked about Nick Gasser during the program. Our special teams player is Nick Gasser. He continues to punt the ball well and get it inside the 10-yard line most of the time. That's right. He had two, two punts inside the 12-yard line. He averaged 41 yards a punt. You seldom get a return on him right now. What a great job he has done strengthening his leg, improving his skills. He's very accurate for where he places the ball. He can kick, kick the coffin corner. He doesn't give him a chance for a return very often. See where he puts the receiver? Puts him right there in the yep. corner where we can hem him in. He does a great job of doing that without going out of bounds too often where we lose yardage. Just amazing how good he is at putting that ball outside the numbers where we got plenty of people around it, and that's been a big plus for us. You talk about the weight room. People usually think you get in the weight room, get your offensive line stronger, yeah. your yeah. defensive people stronger. We talked about Gasser. He got stronger. He's about 10 yards better this year in his punts. Absolutely. He did not have a very – we were about 32-yard average last year yeah. in punts. And he's, he, he, his leg strength, his flexibility, uh, the entire motion, the rotation of the whole kick, he does everything because of that weight room work and the job that Matt Gildersleeve and our our strength right. court strength program has done for him. Well, the Zips have Saturday off, but they're going to be busy, though. Three more regular season games all on a Tuesday night. We're back right after this. I trust them. I have trust them with my life. I, I don't know if I would be here today without all of their help and their support. <laughs> they were. They were out of this world fabulous. They treated me like I was a guest more than a patient. The caregivers really are the true rock stars, aren't they? Every patient deserves and should have the care that I'm getting it soon. I'm cancer free because of them. With every patient, every day, Suma Health delivers personal, life-changing care. The difference with Wentz Financial Group is that we do not have a cookie cutter answer to any of our clients' needs. Every day is completely different in the market and every client situation is unique. We value the opportunity and responsibility to manage the hopes and dreams of our 3,000 customers nationwide. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. Well, the Zips have a Saturday off before they head down to Oxford, Ohio, to take on the Miami Redhawks on Tuesday night, November 7th. And, Coach, with the weekend off, you get a chance to send some of your assistant coaches out in the recruiting trail. Yeah, we'll have a couple of guys, probably three, head down to Florida. And it's not so much locating people, but making sure some of our commitments stay committed, right. getting to get, get to visit with them, watch them. And uh, hopefully they'll sign because this is the first year for the early exactly. signing date in December. And we've got two or three down in Florida that we've got to get down to see to make sure we don't lose them in the last month or so. The rest of us will be in the office trying to get early start on game plan for Miami, although we've got a couple of extra days. The players will have a couple of days off. Exactly. You don't play till November 7th. Uh, you're going to keep them in the, uh, in the weight room a little bit or give them a couple yeah, of days they'll, off? Yeah, they'll have a couple of days off completely and get them in a the weight room on uh, Tuesday and probably practice on Wednesday. Right now, getting them fresh and just give them a rest. You know, very self them in the Mac. Does anybody have a week off? You get these extra right. couple of days when you switch to a Tuesday night game, but you don't get the full week off that you usually get when you have it full off Saturday like that. And so it'll be good to rest rest our guys up a little bit uh, for these final three yeah. game swing. Yeah, final three games. Nice thing is you got two of them at home. That'll be nice. We've had a great home schedule so yeah. far. Home's been good to us. We've won some big games at home. We lost to Iowa State at home, but that was a very, very good team. We played very well, so hopefully that'll continue. Right now we've got to go on the road, so let's exactly. talk about that road game we've got ahead in Yeager Stadium. It's going to be the Miami Red Hawks, and, of course, they will play Tuesday night down at Athens against Ohio University. So they've got one more game left to play before we see them on tape again. That's right. Well, they, they, they've, had their, they, they've had their time off. I'm sure right. they had a few extra days for that one. But they, they, they went to a bowl last year, 6-6 six and six after we beat them. They won, won six every in a row, single yeah. game 
and and now they're out there still in contention too. So this thing, like every game is so critical, and Miami's always been a tough yeah. one for the Akron Zips. They've had some big wins. They beat Central Michigan. They beat Buffalo. A near miss against a good Cincinnati team that lost that in the final minute. Yeah, they have. They they've really lost about three games yeah. that you don't know how they lost. They exactly. were so close to winning, and so this is a very good football team. They remind me of Buffalo. Buffalo lost their quarterback and had to go with a youngster. So it's they, they found a way yeah. to win some close, lose some close games, and they're very very good. Coach, congratulations on that nail biter against yes. Buffalo. We keep on winning. Hopefully it'll continue. We will be back next week to talk about that Miami game. So uh, don't go away. A lot of football left to be played as the Zips have three games left, two at home. We'll talk about that Miami game next week. Have a great week, everybody. And remember, go Zips. Zips Football with Terry Bowden, presented by Wentz Financial Group, was brought to you by Suma Health. It's your health. Let's own it together. Bud Light, the world's famous light beer. Double Tree by Hilton Akron Fairlawn. Proud to be the host hotel of Zips Football. By your Akron Canton Bryant Heating and Cooling Dealers. The Spaghetti Warehouse, famous for its 15-layer lasagna. And Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime.